Okay, this is going to be the second part where we saw for VC for T greater than zero. I'm going to redraw the circuit again. It is going to be this 40, 20, 20, 40. This for VC greater than zero. This basically means we have to incorporate the, the time constant, and we can look up that formula. It's that formula is going to be on page 198 in the RC and RL transient area we have an RC circuit so we want to get it in this form and VC is going to be equal to VC at time equals zero plus uh, supply voltage minus uh, V times E to the T over time constant. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm write that down. VC is equal to VC zero E T R C plus V one minus E T R C. And again, that would have that's going to be for a circuit that looks like this. So we saw this already, but I guess just to do it again, we get the Thevenin equivalent resistance and voltage. I guess I'll, I'll do it again. We have to get the double in voltage here, here. We have voltage. For double in voltage, we, we take in the point here and here, remove this capacitor. So we're looking in here and we short out any supplies. So we get this looking in here. We have this and this. We have current flow from here to here and from here to here. These two start at one point and end at the same point. So therefore, these resistors are in parallel. So 20, 20. 220 oh, ohm resistors are a total. It's going to be 1 over 20 plus 1 over 20. And this is 2 over 21. So flipping that over, you have 2 over 2, which is 10. And now we can solve for voltage. Twenty, twenty ohms, ohms, two microfarads. Gonna solve for voltage at that point. We have forty minus V over forty minus V over the resistance here, twenty. Current here. Since basically this is an open circuit in DC, we have V over 20. This is equivalent at steady state to the circuits. So we're basically getting the voltage here. 
Solving for V, we solved this already using algebra. It's 20 volts. So now we have the equivalent level and circuit. We have 10 ohms. Supplies 20 volts. And we can put that capacitor back in. Would you want these guys looking off camera? Right, I'll, you know, something comes up in my head, but sure. Um, those are ones that I wanted to run by She wants Actually, since we are replacing this circuit with the resistor here, we're actually not going to use the Thevelin voltage, we're just going to use the, 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 volt, the, sorry, the, the resistance here. And to get the time constant, we have RC, 10 ohm, or 10 ohms times 2 times 10 to the negative 6. And I think that was 20 or something like that. Okay, now we can plug that in. VC at zero, we're not giving an initial voltage for the capacitor, so that's going to be zero. Supply voltage is 40. 1 minus e to the negative t over 20 microseconds, or t to the negative 6. And that's going to be your VC. Sorry, actually, that would be correct. Since we we reduced the circuit into a Thevenin equivalent, we are going to use the Thevenin voltage here. So it's 20 minus e to the negative t over 20 times 10 to the negative 6. That's your voltage at the capacitor. Okay, e was i for t greater than 0. And again, we're going to use the formula. 2020 microfarads. Going back to this, I is going to be basically the voltage, the voltage minus voltage of the capacitor divided by the resistor times e to the t to the divided by the time constant RC. And we just did that equivalent circuit up there. So we're turning this into an equivalent series circuit. We have 10 ohms, 20 volts, resist or capacitor. Uh, VC, VC0 equals 0. So it's basically going to be V divided by resistor, which is this is going to be two. <laughs> E to the negative T over 2 times. Oh, that's going to look right. Oh, really? <laughs> what happened to it? <laughs>